Hello, welcome to another Pastor's Fodder. It's our desire to help you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by speaking the truth in love. Last week we looked at an unbelievable chapter. We started it. We're going to continue on uh, today as we talk about these, these demon-like locusts uh, that come out out of the abyss. And when, when they come out, what direction are they going? Well, they actually have four limitations. And the first is that they strike. The fact that they can strike at all is because God gives his permission to even let them out of the abyss. Remember, he gives an angel a key to open this pit. And power was given to them. That is, they would not have any power if it was not granted to them by God. So this is good news for us even today. Satan and his demons cannot go beyond what God allows. God is still in control and there are limits. The second thing is what and who they strike. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or green plant or any tree. Again we see that Satan and demonic spirits are on a leash. They cannot go beyond what God will allow them. As Job chapters 1 and 2 demonstrate. They can strike only those people who do not have the seal of God. So the 144,000 Jewish evangelists that we talked about earlier in chapter 7 will be kept safe from the torment of these spirits. The converts of the 144,000 will also likely be exempt. It seems likely that all who have trusted the Lord for salvation will be sealed in some special way and protected from torment like the Israelites in Egypt when they were protected from the plagues. So why would demons attack lost people? These are the people on their side. Well, some would say this shows just how irrational evil is. Evil even attacks itself. And we see the chaos in Satan's kingdom. And I believe that certainly is true. It could also be true as well that these demons come up and attack people and then they stop. Somehow the Antichrist could take credit for that. If he gets this evil, terrible thing to stop, people would follow him in a greater way. So they could be working together so Satan's man on earth could be elevated. The third thing is how they strike. They were not permitted to kill anyone. The fourth thing is how long they strike. They were allowed to torment them for five months. That's verse 5. Interestingly, the life cycle of locusts is typically from May to September, five months. The hideous, locust-like, demonic spirits will relentlessly torment people during this time, but they will not be permitted to kill them. People will long for death rather than repent before a holy God. Can you imagine? Why not repent? Why not commit yourself to God? Well, we continued and see the description in verses 7 through 10. The locusts were like horses prepared for battle. And to describe these evil spirits, John is forced to use the term like nine times. On their heads were what looked like crowns of gold. Verse 7. These demonic spirits evidently have a higher rank or level of authority than other demonic spirits. Their faces were like human faces, verse 7. The locusts have some human-like characteristics, perhaps rationality and intelligence. Their hair like women's hair and their teeth like lion's teeth. Locusts are elsewhere described as having bristles like hair in Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 27. And insect, insects also have this long antenna for navigation. So like lions, these evil spirits will be fierce predators. Just as unarmed human is no match for a lion, so people will not be able to escape the torment of these demonic spirits. They also are wearing breastplates in verse 9. Iron breastplates are designed to protect one's organs. The metaphor indicates that these fallen angels are invulnerable. 
people will not be able to kill them. And then the noise of their wings is mentioned in verse 9. People jolt out of the way at the sound of a locust. It's just a fear reflex. But when people sense the presence of these tormenting spirits, they will try to run, but they won't be able to escape. They have tails and stings like scorpions. Scorpions carry an agonizing sting, but they generally aren't lethal. These demonic spirits will cause similar agony for five months. Now, I think they will be visible. And that's just something that's invisible. I think people will actually see them. And once again, as we come to the end of this particular podcast, I invite you, if you have not done so, to receive Christ as your Savior. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.